Hello everyone, uh, long time no speak. Um, I know I haven't been posting for a while, um, for about a bit more than two years now, and I'll explain why later. Uh, but I wanted to, first of all, thank you very much for all the messages and kind words um, and questions that you posted and keep posting on my previous uh, VMware SD1 by VeloCloud channel. Um, for those of you who haven't received the response for your questions, I do apologize. I'm no longer with the company for a while now, thus won't be able to have the latest uh, advice and information. Now, what happened for the last two and a half years? Well, I joined a very, very excited state. Now, what happened for the last couple of years? Well, I joined a very, very exciting startup that is looking to revolutionize this world of physical security. Now, I'm sure that most of you, like myself, do come from an IT background, and possibly a lot of you have never thought about what it takes to secure a physical building and to keep both the people and the assets in it safe. I personally had no clue, for example, uh, where the badge reader or the push to exit button were going or the complex systems that underpin an uh, enterprise security solution. And one of the reasons I'm very interested in Vercada was the fact that they are the first cloud-based company to offer things such as CCTV, access control, alarms, sensors, intercoms, guest and mailroom management under a simple platform that we call command. And this differs to the traditional physical security market, which is flooded by different players with some with very well-known names, uh, some more obscure, that all offer on-premise solutions that rely on having servers, network video recorders, databases, etc. So in the world where you can't have simplicity, plug and play, but also security, we try to bridge that gap with what we call the hybrid cloud architecture. And you still have those devices that you see behind me, but instead of relying on physical infrastructure in order to interact with your estate, you now split that function between the device itself and the cloud giving you not only things such as plug and play, scalability and ease of use, but also at the same time increasing your security to things such as automatic firmware updates. So now your devices are no longer behind when it comes to their software code and thus vulnerable to certain attacks. If you're still interested, please follow me through the next videos that I'm about to post where I'll take a few topics and do a small deep dive in them. As with my previous channel, I do encourage any comments. So do post them together with your questions in the comments section and I'll try to answer them as best as I can.